Hey there guys. Today's project is definitely not gonna win any awards for being the most exciting project, but perhaps it will be useful in case you have a need for a custom truck bed liner using rubber horse stall mats. Uh, they are very durable and compared to what you can get pre-made for most trucks, I think this is a superior truck bed mat. So I'm gonna show you how I made it, uh, how I connected them using a woodworking technique of making bow ties and perhaps it will be interesting. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you what the real inspiration for making this uh, truck bed liner is. You can kind of see it in the background. And uh, anyway, so let me show you how I made it and then I will show you what it's really for. All right, so to start this very exciting custom truck bed liner project off, let me show you what I'm going to be using for the liner, what I'm going to be cutting it with, and uh, what my plans are to make it customly fit this truck bed. Uh, so what you see in the back of the truck are two rubber horse stall mats. I got them from Tractor Supply. They're four foot in width by six foot long and about three quarters of an inch in thickness. So they are very heavy, but in my opinion, it's going to make for a very durable liner too. And to cut it, I'm just going to be using a straight edge silver sharpie to do my marking and a regular utility knife to do the cutting. And uh, you can see that the four foot width doesn't fill out the bed. The bed is about five foot three inches wide and it's six and a half foot long. So what I'm going to do is orient these in a horizontal fashion to where I'll have to cut one of them lengthwise. Um, and then each of the corners will get a notch out to accommodate the wheel wells. And then to keep the mats from separating, I'm going to use a, I guess, a woodworking technique of making some little bow ties. Uh, this will make more sense when I do it. Uh, that will insert between the mats to kind of keep them from uh, moving apart. So with that said, let me start cutting. So it's laid down, everything fits nice and tight, nothing's moving. Uh, I probably could have gone a little bit tighter on the little notched out sections on the corners, but overall I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, however, you will remember there is a seam up there in the middle and I don't want this to start separating up there um, just as I'm driving and dust gets under it. So what I've done is cut out these little bow tie shapes. Uh, if you have ever done any woodworking, you've probably seen people use this uh, to fix cracks. And this is gonna go right on the seam and it's going to basically hold these two mats together. So I'm gonna put them up there, trace them out, cut them out, and that'll be pretty much it. And just like that, we are at the end of the video. So hopefully it was interesting. And now I'm gonna show you what I am working on 
which was the inspiration for making that mat. You can see in the background, I have a rough metal framework. And what this is gonna be is a combination of a truck camper slash like utility shell. Uh, so you can see there, it's got a tapered bottom, which is going to sit in the bed of my truck. Uh, and then the sides will house tool compartments. And then uh, the front section, you can see it's just open-ended pieces of steel tubing. That is going to cantilever over the roof of my truck, just provide a little storage. And eventually there's gonna be a little flip up top. And uh, on the inside, it's gonna be a little bit tight. Uh, there's gonna be kind of like a flip down bench and table so I can use it uh, as a combination for like if I uh, go do a commission project or you know something off site, uh, which I occasionally do. Um, that I can house all my tools, but also uh, when I want to go on a solo hunting trip, uh, I can just have this in the back. I can sleep in it. So it's going to be kind of like a, a camper, but also like a big, you know, handyman toolbox uh, uh, truck bed kind of thing all in one. Uh, and as is the case with a lot of uh, things where you try to make them, you know, have uh, multiple purposes, it might not do either to perfection but uh i think it will turn out cool and uh anyway it's uh something that i'm very excited about it's going to be clad all in aluminum it's going to be a very similar build to uh how i did my diy travel trailer uh so once this framework is done um it's going to have like a little angled piece here to kind of deflect the wind i'll have some windows in it uh tool compartments and uh and then a door on the back and then it'll utilize uh, my little uh, truck bed ladder project that I built a while back uh, where the ladder stores. I don't have it on there right now, um, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, now I'm just rambling now. Uh, as always, uh, I hope this was an interesting video for you guys. Perhaps it was useful. And uh, if you like uh, the videos I make, please consider sharing them um, and hitting the subscribe button for uh, future similar videos. And uh, as always, uh, oh yeah, give it a thumbs up. Um, hope you guys are well, and uh, I will see you on the next video. God bless.